Foster Farmington have launched an expanded performance-based senior football program, which will see an enlarged first-team pool enjoy a holistic, player-focused approach to development within a competitive SWPL environment. With the impending launch of next season's SWPL Development League, the enlarged performance squad will operate as a single entity which will complete fixture cards for both the SWPL and the SWPL Development League. Hear from some of our performance coaching staff on what the programme consists of and how it can benefit any player looking to develop. It allows us to, to operate with one group and the same message going across that one group. Instead of potentially having two teams here where things can be perceived slightly differently, there's that very, very clear message to the groups. Also allows us the integration with our training to be a lot better and players to be comfortable with each other so that if then some of the development players do step up to the first team, that transition is really, really smooth for them um, and it's not done in any shape or form. I like to try and be as honest as I can with the players, tell them when they've done stuff well, but equally so, we'll tell them when they need to improve in certain areas. When we're doing our coaching sessions, making it as simple as we can so that the players can understand the message that we're trying to get across and we're to understand the pictures that we're trying to paint uh, through the training sessions so they can then link that into the game. I think for um, the younger players that I'm coaching at the moment, I think the Brennan squad, what it will do is it will bring them on. I think a lot of them are at the moment training with the older girls, go up to the next level of Brennan squad, playing with players that have played at international level, players that have played Premier League football. I think it will bring them on even more. It's about setting these girls for maybe not looking at promotion development of that league, it's about setting them up to go to the first team. And they get that opportunity with the blended squad as well, where they're going to um, get the opportunity to play at a higher level, but in the meantime, play at the under 23 level, playing against girls who are going to be of similar thoughts of they're all pushing to play higher level football. During training, um, or before training, I should say, the players all have an online report to do to begin with, so giving us an idea of what they've been doing during the day, if they've already trained, um, what they're at uni and college, so we have to take in that into account. But also, they've got give us a few details about kind of how they're feeling, their sleep and, and these wee things and it all allows us to paint a picture and allows us as a coaching staff then to go back and, and make sure that we are treating them the right way and kind of addressing any issues that we feel might be there for the benefit and the well-being of the player first and foremost. Then as they come into training, depending on who's in uh, on that night, that player will then be given a GPS pod. Now the ones that we use are from PlayerTech. Um, a company recently now working with Catapult, which are a massive brand that work um, with a lot of the Premier League clubs down south as well. And that allows us to give a load of data about their performance, both in training and in matches. So everything from their distance covered, their sprint distance, accelerations, decelerations. And we can really paint a picture of who's performing well, both in training and in games, but also allow us to know Maybe there's injuries that may well get picked up at certain points due to all the kind of analysis we do, and that then allows us to specifically tailor our training so that the player performs at their best week in, week out. In the past, at Farmington was that you had a first team, and there wasn't that link there with the youth. And a lot of the parents and players didn't actually appreciate what was open to them and what their kids could actually progress to. So we needed to kind of bridge that gap and also to identify any youth players either within the club or within the region that could be brought in, given that extra support and training to take that uh, massive step up between youth football and senior football. On uh, Thursday evenings, if there's ongoing injuries, we'll have booking systems to organise players in advance, so that's an efficient system there. Mm -hmm. On game days, we go away with the team. I will do warm-up sessions with the team, um, ensuring the muscles and the massage is going deep into the tissues. Um, again, taping is used then to prevent injury as well as uh, for ongoing injuries. Uh, we have education systems as well within the club, so we can educate the players on their injuries and get them back into rehabilitation of the sport. And rehab is a big part, so we make sure that the players aren't going back too soon into injury as this can cause further damage to the muscles. And we work with one-on-one -on -one players as well to ensure that they are getting back into the sport at the right time. And this can be done through myself and the sports scientists within the team. Having the goalkeeping coaches uh, allocated to each team means that the goalkeepers within those teams have a support mechanism available to them. 
sometimes outfield coaches don't have the time or necessarily the knowledge available to them to best support the goalkeepers. I and mean, that's where the goalkeeping coaches at the club can step in to offer support, offer advice and offer a little bit of education, not only to the goalkeepers but to the other coaches at the club as well. All of our games are filmed and the performance analyst takes the time to cut all the goalkeeping clips out of that which myself and the other goalkeeping coaches are able to uh, review a day or so after the game. This is passed on to the first team goalkeeper that happens to have played in that game as well, so they're able to review that footage quite quickly. As when time allows, we sit down with the first team goalkeepers, um, review their performance as a group, get a little bit of two-way feedback going as well to identify where things are maybe could have been done a little bit different, where there has been good factors carried out. I think goalkeepers are particularly well looked after here at Forth Farmington. Um, we do have, we'll have a number of coaches working throughout the pathway. We always look to keep the goalkeeper at the focus of what we do. Chaplaincy is quite a new thing, a growing thing within sport, especially within women's football. I aim to improve the health and well-being of everybody that's associated with the team, whether it's players, coaches, managers, even people who keep the ground sound about, the parents. My point in doing all this is so that if there's any hang-ups the girls have or MD has or the coaches off of the pitch, I can maybe step in and prevent this affecting their performance on the pitch. As I've developed relationships with the girls, deep meaningful relationships, which don't happen just overnight, they need to be worked at. But as this happens, the girls will open up to me more. And the thing with the chaplain, the chaplain, I'd like to think is a constant. Players come and go, coaches can come and go, seasons start, seasons end, transitions between seasons can be very difficult for lots of players. But I'd like to think that the chaplain is a constant who will always be there for whoever needs them. No matter what, how happy I am with the, the current group of players that we've got in the first team um, and that are currently playing in our, in our development team, recruitment always comes into it um, and, and it'll be no different this pre-season. We have a list of players that we'd like to try and bring to the club um, and as soon as we're able to do so, then we'll, we'll be making inquiries for those players. Uh, I've got a clear understanding of, of the type of player that I want to work with um, and the type of player that I want to bring to the club and um, we'll be doing our utmost to try and do that and it'll certainly be players that I have a, a knowledge of already and an understanding of how they, they work and their attitude towards the game that we'll be looking to bring in. As a, as a team that's coming down from the, the, the higher league, we've got to be aiming for and looking for um, promotion straight away and that obviously entails winning the, the Premier League too. Um, and that's no disrespect to the teams that are down there because they're all good sides at the moment um, and I'm sure they'll get better going into next season. But we have to have ambitions to win that league and that's the message that we're putting out there for uh, the current group of players, um, the current uh, setup within the club as well. Is, that's the message that we're, that we're going with. And any new prospective players that are coming to the development team or who have ambitions to play in our first team, that's the message that I'm getting, that, that we are doing everything we possibly can to prepare and give ourselves the best opportunity to win Premier League 2 next year and to get back into the first day of the Premier League 1. Every aspect of, of being a, an elite level athlete, elite level player we can cover, um, whether it be physical preparation, whether it be the quality of the training sessions that we provide, whether it be rehab work, whether it be off-field support, um, I genuinely do believe that we can, we can provide everything that a player is looking for. And you know, if there's any time where a, where a player comes to us and says, I need a little bit of help with this or I'd like to try and do this, then we'll absolutely look to do that as well. Because you know, as much as you try and prepare and as much as you try and cover all the bases, there's always one or two wee things that you may forget and, and sometimes that it's good just to be reminded of those things or have a new idea thrown upon you to, to try and implement with the club. Um, but a player coming at Forfar, I think they've got every opportunity to do everything they want to do. For more information on Forfar Farmington's women's performance programme, please visit the club's website at www.forfarfarmington.com or email admin.swpl 
at forfarfarmington.uk